Greetings. Oh, hello. What's your name? Oh, you must be Dave. Why do you have a chair, but you're standing? Hmm. You know what? I obviously can't sit in that chair. Actually. Yeah, you mind? No? Okay, good. I am Dave, President of the Republic of Dave. You will address me as Mr. President, or I will have you executed. Now, Very are good. you applying for a citizenship, <coughs> asylum, or just vacationing in the Republic of Dave? Uh, speech. Most exalted to President Dave, I'm ambassador from the Wastelands. I'm see, I see citizenship in the Republic First of Dave. Off, you will address me as Mr. President. Always. No exceptions. My apologies. Secondly, after careful consideration, the Office of Immigrant Affairs reports that we've already exceeded our quota for immigration this year. Application denied. You have 24 oh. hours to leave the Republic or face deportation. Damn it. Um, there must be something I can do to stay. Now that you mention it, the President could use a new hunting rifle. Tell you what. You find me a serviceable hunting rifle, and I'll grant you special asylum within my republic. Or you can just pay the 250 cap tax on unwanted refugees. Um, I have a hunting rifle right here. It's broken. Yes, this will do nicely. Congratulations! You are now an official refugee of the Republic of... I don't Maine. want to be a refugee, I want to be a citizen. There's a difference. Ugh. Your Republic is for prepared to be reclaimed by the porn stars. There's an election for the next president. Ooh. Don't look so surprised. Can't you see this is a republic? Yes. I'd say it looks more like a dictatorship. Or, uh, I, I think that, uh, I would prefer a religious... Or, no, no, I take it back. I want a political oligarchy to be instated in place of this democracy. Yes, absolutely. Well then, there you go. An election is what separates a president like myself from a monarch like my father. Your father was a monarch? You mean like the butterfly? Hmm, <laughs> I don't understand um, er this aristocracy thing. I don't think you're quite breaking the quota. My father inherited his political power from birth and renamed this great nation the Kingdom of Tom. Tom. Although I also inherited my political power from my father when I took over, I formed a republic so the people may elect their leader. And they elected you. Can I help with the election? All right, sure. Why not? The people have a tendency to wait until the last minute to vote, but I'd like just to get it over with. I'll spare a few caps if you just tell each of the adults to get over to the voting booth sometime today so I cinch the victory. Uh, to worry about the people know who their leader is in this republic. Hmm. Of course, I voted. I was the first to vote. Did you now vote for yourself? For the rest of the votes to come. You did, didn't you? You look conceited. Um, never mind. Well, um, I guess it's uh, time to talk to the adults. Hey, what is this? this? Oh, it requires a key. Fantastic. Well, oh, hello. Rosie, I think I like you better, Jessica. Let's talk to you. Okay? Fine. I'd like to know about the Republic. I'd like to discuss the election with you. Can. Fascinating. Um, I'd like to throw my hat into the ring and run for presidency. Oof. No way. You'd have to be crazy to run against him. He would execute you. Mm, I don't think you can do that. You'd better ask Dave. Oh, okay. Anything else? See you, Jessica. You're safe as long as Dave says so. And I'm not gonna kill you as long as Chuck keeps making that hissing sound. So you better pray to God that he doesn't stop. Because if he does, I'm gonna be very happy. But you'll also be dead, so... That's how this uh, democracy thing works. Are you another hooker? I have met so many hussies in my travels. I can I can't even count them on on two of my fingers. Yes. 
What can President Dave do for you? I want to run for president. The election is still going on. What do you want to know? Um, I don't want you to put me on the ballot, sir. I understand it's too late for that, but I can still be a, a write-in candidate. Correct? Um. That would be Bob, Shauna, Jessica, Rosie, and myself. In hmm. a republic, if you're old enough to carry a weapon, you're old enough to vote. Rosie That's and a good Jessica thing, are usually right here in the capital. Bob usually hangs out outside near the Brahmin pen. Okay. Shauna runs the Museum of Dave, so you can find her there. Dave has a museum. That sounds like you're awfully conceited. Um, are the votes in, Mr. President? Remind me how I can help the election. Who's running the election? I'd like to throw my hat into the ring and run for presidency. I'm sorry, but the president must be a citizen of the Republic to run for office. Uh, so you do not qualify. Okay. No, I don't need anything else. I'm leaving. God, I wanted to be president so bad, Chuck. All right, well, let's leave. I'll be back for you. Have you considered well, running for president? Um. Is it? Oh yeah. What about? It? Run for president. Man, I'd love to be the president. Everybody would have to listen to me, or I could just exile them to the wasteland. Right. And the first thing I'd do is make myself the permanent leader so they couldn't vote me out in some other election. Hmm. But there's no need for me to run. One year, Dave is just going to make me the leader, just like my grandpa Tom did for him. Dave is corrupt. The Republic needs a new champion of freedom. I'm not stupid. Oh, okay. Um. Yeah? Well, it just so happens that I like being number two around here. So I think. Okay, well, um, just later, Bob. I'm just gonna ask everybody if they want to run for presidency. Uh, Museum of Dave. Fantastic. If I didn't know enough about Dave already, oh, I can learn more. Oh, I look, this perception. You are now 15% more accurate when using bats. Only through observation will you perceive weakness. Fantastic. Why that little girl? More in it. Chuck? Were you looking at her? Were you looking at her? Yes, I know she has the face of like a 30 year old. Look at me when I'm talking. What do you Hello. look? Don't look at my weed up. <laughs> I felt violated, Chuck. I know. I know you never do that to me. You do look relatively old. Wow, her face really looks old. Like, like from the, from the neck down. Or not the neck down, from the neck up. You could be a... See, right there. Got got it perfect for you guys. Definitely a 30-year-old. He looks older than you do. You look like a 5-year-old. So, Dave gave you the okay, huh? Actually, I think well, your faces got switched. Then. I run the Museum of Dave, where the children of the Republic can learn about their heritage. Uh, what about math and arithmetic? English. Stuff like that. Um... Me? I'm not sure if I can help you. I want you to run for residency. Absolutely not. In fact, I'd vote for Dave twice if I could. He's not a straw, so stop sucking up. Who okay. Did you ask Dave if that's okay? I did. He told me he told me it's fine. Only Dave. He's the only person who ever runs. Well, this uh sure does sound like aristocracy. Glad to Um, I'll leave you to the kids. Well, oh, awesome, Chinese Mr. Hey. Well, hello there. President Daddy says the people from outside the Republic are bad. Uh, that's not true. I'm not evil. Are you really from the wasteland? Wow! There was no W. It's just wow. Not wow. You sound like an idiot. Hello, Ralph. Are you away from the wasteland? Whoa. Much better. Oh, uh, that must be the common house. I come back. I would hey, speak to you, Rosie. I heard that Dave allowed you to stay. Well, 
Welcome, stranger. Just be mindful of the children. Yes, I already found one of them checking me out. I felt violated. I want to leave this place. I'd like to discuss the election with you. Election time is always exciting around here. I can tell. Have you considered Believe running for president? Not, I used to lead a group bigger than this one on an old caravan route. Wow. I did it for years, and we did pretty well for ourselves. You but should run. What am I talking about? Running against Dave would be like betraying him. No, it wouldn't. You'd be a much better leader. No. No. I don't think I could. Sorry. Hmm. Yeah, and like Dave says, freedom is the most free freedom that we have. That you know doesn't what? make any sense. You're right. I'll give it a shot. Wow, it's that like was easy. My duty, isn't it? Yeah. It is. To improve the nation. Um. Goodbye. I will take care of myself. I don't know how I feel about having a hussy for a president, but you know, I guess we're gonna do it. Dave says you're okay. Yeah, no. Um. True. I'd like to discuss the election with you. Did you know Rosie is running for president? Rosie doesn't stand much of a chance, does she? Wow, you are a whore. Don't ever talk to me again. You're such a downer that I just want to kill you regardless of whether or not Chuck starts making that hissing sound or not. Now, you will obviously vote for her because you are a boy, and boys yes. like girls. What is oh, never mind. Um... Uh, I'd like to know more about you. Tell me about this, uh, Dave guy. Um, that's all I need to know. I want, oh. Did you know Rosie is running for presidency? So I've heard. She couldn't possibly think that she'd be better than Dave. Well, I think she'd be better. Um. Look, I already... Well, um. Yeah? My face! You take that back! Um. Fine. Well, I uh, I don't think he's gonna be voting for Rosie. Um, Rosie will probably get kicked out. It's all my fault because I'm not able to persuade anyone. Oh, hi, Shauna. Um, you're definitely gonna vote for Rosie because of sisterly love, me. right? Um. Um, I'd like to discuss me? election with you. Well. Obviously, you don't care, so you should go out if you haven't already. Uh, let's go, guys. Okay, so I got that hussy, and I got that hussy right there. So I have two more hussies, and one hussy's gonna vote for herself, and I'm gonna vote for that hussy, so. Dave says you're okay? Never mind, I don't think I can vote. And hussy number I heard that four. Dave allowed you to stay. Yep, um, you should go vote you're for yourself. And to Dave, all the hussies have voted. What? An Ooh. opponent? Seriously? But, but, wait. No, this is a free republic. Let the people make their choice. I am confident that they will recognize me as their true and proper leader. I'm going to kill you if, um... Okay. Well, I guess I just have to wait for everyone to uh, to vote. So. All done. Dave's the best. Fingers crossed. That a girl. I'm proud of you, Rosie. You know what, Rosie? I'm just gonna stop calling you a hussy. Do you know why, Rosie? Because you tried your best. Man, the promise and awful today. I'm talking to Rosie. And people that try their best don't deserve to be made fun of. Matter of fact, those those people that make fun of people, those those people that make fun of people that are absolutely doing their best, those people are the worst kinds of people. Because you're stopping someone, it, it, you're trying to hold them back from being the best version of them that they can be. That's, and you should be ashamed of yourself, Chuck. How could you do this? Oh, hello, Jericho. Invisible. Oh, uh, not. Invisible. Not. Invisible. Just kidding. Uh, I tricked you. I tricked you. You didn't know what to, what to do right there, did you? Well, can I vote? Oh, requires key. If I stole the key, then I could probably rig it so Rosie would win. Yes? What? Uh, never mind. Very well. Am I sneaky? I can't tell. I'm just going to do this. And I will take Dave's special key. Oh, obviously, I got caught cheating, so. 
Back in time we go. Do you think that was melodramatic? I think it might have been a little bit melodramatic for me to say back in time we go. Tell you ho! I think that was probably twice as bad. And there's probably a quest for this that I'm not paying attention to. Quests and... No. Did you vote? Come on, make it fast. Who the hell made you... Anyway, I did it... Okay, good. And I think that makes everybody... That women's quarters and the men's quarters. Okay, wait a minute. There's women and men's quarters. That's not co-ed dorms. Uh, this place doesn't sound very free. Okay, well, uh, you're just too annoying, so I'm gonna kill you like you're gonna kill your clothes. And let's go talk to that other hussy. Hussy galore here. Uh, where? Oh. Hi. Okay, children, I will be your teacher for today. As you can see, I have written nothing, and I'm thirsty. So, I'm going to drink something real quick. Uh, much better. As you can see, I've written nothing on the board. Because that's exactly what you're going to amount to. A green chalkboard. You almost thought I was going to say nothing. But you would be wrong. Flower, you're going to be a hussy. You are going to age poorly because already you look like you're 30 hey there, and you, you, gonna play Republic with us? you look like you're a Girl Scout and I feel bad for you because there's no other Girl Scouts the rest of these people are wearing miniature versions exactly what I'm wearing matter of fact little girl you and I are wearing the exact same clothes our pants are the same I don't know whether or not I have girl pants or you have man pants I look like a hedgehog I think you're wearing man pants and your jacket is small and we have a stitch in the exact same place Actually, no, we don't. Our outfits are completely different. Actually, you used to have a stitch in it. You have a hand-me-down jacket, and I feel bad for you, because you already look 30. Matter of fact, you've probably been wearing that jacket for 30 years. And you, you should just go home to where you came from, because you don't belong here. Raphael, I, I saw the CH YouTubers, don't look at me funny. I called a Raphael on purpose. Why was a hula hoop dancing in this hot plate? Who's been playing stupid games? I hate this. I hate... Uh. Alright. Let's teach you guys how to do... S I'm gonna teach you how to science. Oh, oh. Almost dropped it. Very good. Uh, Flower. Very good. I see that you're taking to the hot plate. Well, that is the biggest goddamn hot plate I have ever seen. Does that belong and, to you? Okay, it doesn't matter because I hate you. You are the Girl Scout, so catch this. You missed. You do not get your ball catching bag picked that up, put throwing it on the ground. And here you go. You are going to be the scholar. Because you're obviously gonna live forever. So read both these books and that right there, that's what you're gonna be, and that's a hussy, so. Oh, much better. Everybody's good. Um I don't think anyone else needs to, uh, needs to vote. I think that's everyone. Who else, uh, needs to Good vote? Morning. Do you need a vote? Are you old enough to carry a gun? Are you really from the wasteland? Okay, obviously Whoa. not. You voted. Shauna voted. Rosie voted. I'm missing someone. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, Jessica, Rosie, and Shauna all voted. Dave says you're okay. Okay. I. Okay, good. And. Something Shana. you need? Um. Oh no, Dave sent you to tell me. Sorry about my hey. companions. Are you going to vote now? Oh, <gasps> she's gonna vote. Rosie. Rosie, Rosie, Rosie. Ah, Dave, lead Damn our it. public to glory. Urgh. Yeah, now you want to sit down. I pooped in that chair last time I got up. Ugh, just sitting in it. Yes. You 